Hey everybody, it's Jackie with Jackie's Recent Things. And today I'm going to show you how to make a medium sized rag bow out of the rag bow kit. In your kit, you will get 13 to 15 pieces of each fabric, totaling up to about 28. Um, for doing this, we're gonna use the Easy Bow Maker. You can use pipe cleaners or you can use zip ties. I prefer to use pipe cleaners um, because they're easier to tie with for me and they're also not as bulky as a zip tie because you don't want bulk um, in your rag bow for when you tie it off. So I'm gonna use pipe cleaners. Your rag bow medium size only needs to be 10 inches so that means we're gonna do five inch loops. I'm gonna take my first piece of fabric and I'm going to measure my loop because we want our fabric going the same way. So I'm going to fold my fabric over and I'm going to measure my first loop. And then I'm going to set it in the bow maker. Then I'm gonna pull my loop over this way. Measure a five inch loop and pull my tail out of the way. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use four of the B and four of the Harlequin. So I'm gonna do the same thing once again for this side. I'm going to measure a five inch loop. And pull a tail. Now we're going to come over this way. And measure a five inch Loop. And then make a five inch loop and pull our tail out of the way. Do the same thing once again for this side. Now doing it like this will really help you keep your loops consistent so now we have a total of four loops and four tails now I'm going to come back this direction to the right and I'm going to measure my loop first and we're just going to keep going Always make sure that your open side is up so when you come back to do your loop the other way, your fabric is going to be the right side up. So once again, we're gonna go to the left side.
and that's going to finish the bottom layer of our bow. So we're going to pull it out and I've already got my pipe cleaner sitting here ready. I said you can use a zip tie for this. I prefer to use a pipe cleaner. Now this does not have to stack perfectly. like it would when you're making a regular ribbon bow. But I'm going to twist that up really good and then cut that off. And then I'm going to set that to the side. And this time I'm going to lay my pipe cleaner in there first. Let me fix that autofocus really quick. I'm going to lay my pipe cleaner in here first. Now I always start um, opposite color so I ended with the harlequin so I'm gonna start with the B just like when you're laying your bow regular bow you're gonna alternate your colors so those loops were five inches so we're gonna go down to four inches this time Now this time, we're going to do a twist. Because we're not wanting to do a tail because what ends up happening is our tail here would be longer than our tail there, so it wouldn't um, overlap very well. So it's just barely enough. So next time when I make my loop, let's fix that. So we need to pull this a little bit out so that we can make our four loops. So that's four inches. This way we're conserving on fabric too to leave for the tails. There we go. So now we're just going to come to the black or the harlequin. And we're going to do our four inch loop. And the reason we're going to keep doing this, instead of twisting like you would regular ribbon to keep your proper side up, is we're trying to conserve and not have as much bulk. The twisting creates a little bit of bulk. So we want to cut down on that. As much as possible. Now, because we're going down in size, we're only going to use 
three pieces, two of the yellow and two of the black, which will be a total of six loops. So we did eight and then six. So don't forget to make your twist. Then I'm going to use my pipe cleaner to pull it out this time and it'll make it easier to tie. That way I'm not having to grip. <clears throat> Twist that down really good, cut off the excess. And set that aside. So now we're gonna make the small loop. So these loops, so we went five, four, so now we're gonna do three inch loops and we're only going to do a couple of those Oops. I left off with the B so I need to start with the Harlequin now depending on your design um, The only thing that's going to limit limit you is your imagination. So to finish this off, because it is quite a bit smaller bow, Because we went eight, eight on the bottom, six, so we're only going to need to do the one color. Then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut off that little bit of excess. I'm going to set aside a piece of the B fabric because that's what I'm going to use to tie my whole bow off and finish it off. So I'm going to set aside this one piece and now we're going to work on the tails so basically with the tails you just want to alternate them if you want them to be zigzaggy um, in this case i don't want them to be zigzaggy so the fabric is about 36 inches so i'm just going to kind of measure And then I'm just going to alternate my fabric colors for my tail.
my bow maker keeps moving, so I have to keep on adjusting my fabric, making sure it's in the middle. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to grab my um, tie. This is your finishing tie. And then I'm going to grab my tails and I'm gonna keep center. And then I'm gonna lay my tails in here. even up this my tie now if you don't have very good hand strength you can always use a zip tie to do this but it's not that much fabric so you should be okay also be very careful pulling on your fabric um, because if you pull really hard fabric will rip so now let's grab our bow, start from the bottom and stack up. And we're gonna bring our ties and wrap it around the top. Just like any other bow, you want this to be as tight as possible. So for some of you, you might have to do, use a zip tie for this to really get it as tight as possible. Um, you still need to use the fabric to give it a polished look if even if you use a zip tie so you'll still go back around with the B And you kind of want to pull that tight as possible and make it as snug as possible. Now, before I go fluffing my, my bow, um, I want to pull my tails down and you individually do that. That way they'll lay right. You'll just pull them around like so. That way you get them facing the right direction. If they're not, um, that's part of the charm of the rag bow. Come over and do the same thing to the other side. I start at the bottom and work my way to the top pulling the fabric.
Now, typically what I'm gonna what I do at this point is I rip a few of these. So let me know, let me tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna rip the Harlequin ones because I really want the Harlequin pattern to stand out. <laughs> because the sign is a bee, so I don't need the bees to stand out as much for this project. So I'm just gonna go through here. And you don't have to do this. This is just um to me adds charm because the strings and stuff are actually part of the charm of the rag bow. But ripping it also helps soften the tails a little bit. So if you have a problem with the tail sticking out like this, if you rip it, it'll help soften it to get it to where it'll lay down. So I'm gonna try to pull, the yellow is pretty dominant, so I'm gonna try to pull some of the Harlequin to the front. And now that I'm happy with how my tails look, I'm going to go up here to the bow and start just pulling my loops apart. And sometimes you might accidentally do what I just did, and that's okay. I pulled it out, so I'm just going to cut it. And it's not the end of the world, because it is a rag bow. Then you just kind of scrunch it up to give it a little bit of personality. And then you're all set to make your wreath or decorate with it however you choose. But that's how I make a medium sized rag bow using the Easy Bow Maker. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope y'all are really going to enjoy the kits. Thank y'all so much for joining me. Bye, y'all.